<clears throat> hello, hello. In this video, what I'm going to talk about is how to use App Eagle Amazon FBA repricing strategy. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get and get right to it here. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show you all of our settings here. Okay, they don't have to be your settings, but what, what I want to encourage you to do is 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 what what I like to do when I'm first getting started with with something. What I like to do is I like to mirror somebody else that already that's already doing it, and then as I go, I can make my own changes and things like that. That way, you make it easier so that you can put one foot in front of the other, take action and move. Right. So so here we are under strategies. We do FBA. We do uh, we do some drop shipping uh, temporarily when we're launching private label products or unique listings. But we prime. Uh, but our strategy is FBA. Okay, so you just name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Strategy name FBA. Um, we're using the custom one here. Here, these are other strategies. I would just do it the way I do it for now first until you you get to know App Eagle and and just kind of get comfortable with it yourself. <clears throat> competition type only FBA that's the way we have it set for um, for how, choose how to reprice against your competition um, we, we like to match our, our competition price you don't want to drive you don't want to do it like a penny lower or percent lower because if their settings are like that too and your settings are like that then it's just like it's called the downward spiral or the race to the bottom you know that's a, a two terminologies that people people use um, for that and what that does obviously is it devalues your inventory so you don't want to ever drive the price down you want to drive it up some people even do price above they'll do like one penny up even so some people do do that as well even too because they're endeavoring to, to drive the price up so compete differently against FBA that's disabled compete differently against Amazon disabled when there is no competition, do not reprice. Uh, yeah, obviously you don't want to like lower the price if there's no competition, or you know, or raise it or anything like that. You just want to keep the buy box, right? So, um, when there is no competition, actually, this is uh, this didn't used to be set like this. It should be uh, that's actually wrong. We like to use the maximum price that way it shoots back up. Um, so that drives your price back up. So, so there. I'm glad I actually caught that. I don't know why that was like that. So, when the competition is below your minimum, you do not reprice because that means that your your minimum is usually the lowest you can go. So, what I recommend for App Eagle is to do like a once a month cleanup, and you can go and see if anything's been uh, if you've been outpriced anywhere, and um, then you can um, just you know just liquidate the product or whatever, and and go ahead and move on. And uh, you know that's Something bad that happens here and there, um, but um, but you know this is a real business, and every business has good and has bad, and, and the good makes up for the bad. You know, just like if you own a concrete business or a landscaping business or some other kind of business, you'd have tires to go flat, motors that blow, employees that don't show up that cost money, things that things that break. Right. So what I'm what I'm what I'm doing is I'm just endeavoring to keep you in the correct mindset. As every business has things that go wrong and things that go right. You know, it's just. If you want to, uh, if you want an exact pay, go get a job. You know, so um, when the com when the competition matches your minimum price, do not reprice. Yeah, we just went over that. So when your own price matches your minimum, um, when your own price matches the minimum, yeah, you just use the minimum. Uh, don't lower my price when in the buy box. It's disabled. Um, seller rate rating. Choose the minimum seller rating. So it's competing against. So I, I like 85%. I don't I don't know why this isn't filled out either. I think something just got or something. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, 85% is what we like. We like to compete with. We don't compete with brand new sellers because they don't even get the buy box anyway. So um, as much anyway, they do get the buy box, but not not, not as much as the, the sellers that have a higher selling rating. So uh, exclude and include sellers that's disabled. Um, next. <clears throat> um, okay, so uh, this doesn't matter. This is like the handling time because um, it's FBA. Exclude back order competition disabled. 
featured sellers only that's disabled exclude amazon as a seller that's disabled you can some people play around with this too um and, and do that too so that's something you can think about but i'm gonna leave it alone okay so next um select your minimum max we do it manually and i'm gonna go over that in just a second um, if it was drop shipping, I'd probably do the a formula and I, I, do, I do a whole spreadsheet all at once. But, but we work off a purchase sheet for, um, you know, for FBA. Okay. So if you, if you do do drop shipping, you'll just have two different strategies. Uh, I, I would just do it manually at first and keep, unless you can come up with a nice, a nice, uh, strategy like that too, that you feel comfortable with. It's up to you. It's your business. Okay. Review. Okay, and this just tells you all your settings right here. It's just going over everything that you just put in, okay? Um, finish. Okay, that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull stuff off of an old sheet. I already found one that's actually still on App Eagle, um, just for an example here. So what you do is you have a spreadsheet like this, right? Um, for like this is for your purchases for what's going in and out. See, we track them here. If you if you follow our other training, you know this is like where we track what's coming in and what's going out. And then this column over here, I call this the reprice check column. So what I do is like once this is put in, once it's put in, I put my initials next to it, and I know it's done. So then if it's a relist, see how it says uh, RL relist. Uh, I don't put a suggest price like if we're doing a repurchase. It's a second purchase. We just put an RL right there because it doesn't need a, it doesn't need a suggest price because it's already, it's already in the system, um, you know, from last time. And you would just put your initials there quickly. But well, let's go ahead and go to these uh, these safety pins here. We'll put these in here. They're still in our system because I just checked. Um, hit enter. And then uh, you can see what our minimum price is. Like this is like the lowest we could go without losing money and still making a couple of dollars. And this is the highest we could go. And I, I know we sold these for $34.99 at one point. We'll go ahead and take a peek at them. Um, they're not available anywhere anymore. I don't believe. Um, currently un unavailable. Uh, if you find this video, um, you can go ahead and try to try to go find them if you want. They uh, they sold consistently. They're a little long, so they're they're past the 25 inches, but it's okay as long as you're as long as you're uh, you have them all in the box like that. And that's another, that's a whole other video or a whole other topic anyway. But anyway, that's what we do. So we just track we just go through these you know one at a time you know as they're they're blank they're blank when they're not being used. So we go through them one at a time and make sure that they're all in the system using this purchase sheet. So if, if, if you're already one of our clients, you already have like a purchase sheet right here where you're tracking what's going in and out. And now you know what this column here is for because we just put our initials and that means it's done. If it's not done, it would be like, you know, it would be like this, you know, it'd be white, you know, and it would need to be like, all right, gotta track it, put the number in, you know, find it, whatever. And then once we know it's done, it's done. Um, if it's private label, we do like a PL right here because that doesn't need to be done because we don't reprice private label stuff. We're, we're the only ones selling it. Um, another one, too, um, that we put here, too, like we'll put a, I don't know, I guess I'll put NA here, like not necessary or or not appropriate or whatever because it was a relist, but I usually just put my initials there, too. But, um, you know, if it's a listing where you're the only one selling it, you don't need to reprice it, right? So... That's what that's uh, that's what that's all about. So I'll just backspace, backspace, keep my old records the way that they were, and I'm gonna go ahead and come back. One of our clients, and you end up finding this this video in one of our training courses. Um, I'll have a link below here where you can get and grab it if you find this on YouTube. Same thing. I'll have a link below this where you can come come and grab it. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, we do uh, free uh, uh, free consulting. Um, for uh, just a brief a brief call, like if you have, if you have uh, just a couple quick questions or something like that, we could do that. And um, either way, I'll see you on the next video. Hope you enjoyed the video, and bye for now. Peace.